Hey, what is up everybody? It's Connor here from Geek on Your Face, and welcome to another episode of Anime Spotlight, where today, da -da -da -da, we take a little bit of a turn for the creepier with another, um, but just before we get into the actual Anime Spotlight, I wanted to touch on quickly that, um, Anime Face Off is not going to be a regular thing with can, making it with other people. It's just always kind of difficult. So Anime Face Off will come out when it comes out. I don't really have a day for it. But, um, yeah, without any further ado, we're going to get into another right about three, two, one. Here we go. All right, so um, basically the synopsis for another is... Um, in 1972, I'm going to actually just read this off a synopsis. In 1972, a very popular honor student named Misaki died partway through the school year in Yomiyama North Middle School's Class 3-3. The rest of the students, devastated by the unexpected loss, decided to carry on as if their classmate were still alive, going so far as to keep the desk in place and bring it to the graduation ceremony. Yet no one could explain why their classmate, already dead and buried, was present in the graduation photo. Then in the spring of 1998, a boy named Koichi Sekikabara transferred to the class. He begins to grow suspicious of the fearful atmosphere permeating the class. In particular, he becomes fascinated with a mysterious aloof girl with an eye patch who always sits alone drawing pictures. A girl the rest of the class refuses, refuses to acknowledge. A girl named Misaki. Alright guys, so it's just a quick synopsis of uh, the main general um, idea of the story. The reason why I didn't just do my normal thing and just spout off whatever comes out of my head um, for the anime is because this anime is all about the surprises and the twists and turns. I didn't want to say anything that might have been a spoiler because guys this anime is 100% you gotta watch it without having any idea otherwise it's just kind of boring. But when you don't watch it without anything without any prior knowledge of anything then it's awesome. It's so good, guys. This is um, kind of like a, a horror, a horror style. Although horror to me, what really scares me is like pop outs and jump scares and stuff like that. This is kind of like a psychological horror thing where you get kind of like creeped out. That doesn't really happen to me. Um, but still, it is a little bit. Uh, it's like it's horror slash gore, and the gore is fucking awesome, guys. Um, you have to give this anime up until episode 3 because that's the first instance where it's like, holy crap, I need to really watch this. Until then, the buildup is kind of slow. Um, they kind of... They tease it in front of you too much to not tell you anything. Um, so in my opinion, that's a drawback of the anime is that it's a little slow to get started. Um, even though anime is kind of slow usually, but uh, more so this one. Um, but it is definitely worth the watch. Um, if you guys are at all into like mystery because it's kind of mystery too if you're into mystery or horror and gore this is definitely the kind of anime that you want to watch um it's really you get to know all the characters and stuff like that and they do a good job at um getting to know the characters at least some of them some of them uh i felt as though they could have been developed more um but still it doesn't fall out of the typical horror grass where, you know, there's a little bit light on some character development. But in other parts it is very um, fulfilling for character development. And it's definitely something that you're going to become attached to. I wouldn't say that it's the kind of anime that um, you can just blast off in one sitting, like the irregular at Magic High School. I watched, I got caught up in one day. This isn't that kind of anime in my opinion, I know it, it could be for you. But for me, I watched like five episodes, I took a break, I came back, I watched three episodes, I came back later the next day and I finished it off. It is only 12 episodes long, if I'm remembering right, 12 or 13, so it's definitely not going to take up a big chunk of your life, um, but it is definitely still worth a watch like I said before. Um, in my opinion, the strongest aspect of this anime is the gore. If you want to watch a Final Destination that is an anime if you want it like final destination movies but it's an anime this is the perfect anime but it also is way better than final destination because you actually learn more about the characters than their first fucking name <laughs> um so this definitely gets a lot deeper than um most horror um movies or shows and stuff like that and uh it still performs as well in the visual aspect of it uh, in my opinion so that is going to be my quick review of another guys um I would highly suggest going to watch this. Um, and yeah, 
So I will see you guys in the next Anime Spotlight video and goodbye!